Hello, and welcome to another Oracle Policy Automation Brief. This series focuses on new features in OPA version 10.4. Within this brief, we focus on policy analytics, in particular, the what-if analysis in Excel. Policy analytics is accomplished by leveraging coverage reporting, batch processing, and the new what-if analysis, which focuses specifically on getting new legislation or policy changes right the first time, modeling and analysis, and business users easily performing analysis, producing results using familiar tools, and sharing those results with others. What-if analysis combined with Excel's data analysis enables calculations across a set of determinations, for example, to calculate the average fraud score in a set or the total amount of benefits across the set, identify the frequency of particular decisions, for example, the number of red cases or the percentage of cases with a fraud score higher than the average, identify conflicting outcomes, for example, create a rule that tests for the offending combinations of conclusions, then use that conclusion as an outcome in a what-if analysis and check whether the offending outcome is ever concluded. In addition, use the batch processor to bulk process data, produce decisions, and use any other business intelligence tool to analyze outcomes. Using Excel with Oracle Policy Modeling projects, you can analyze the results of multiple policy model versions to decide which policies are the best ones to use, or to determine how policy changes have impacted outcomes or decisions. At a glance, you start with an Oracle Policy Modeling project, then create a what-if analysis workbook and define or import data. Run that data against the current policy model to generate results. With the scenarios and results now in the workbook, use Excel features for calculations, analysis, charts, etc. You can restart the process with modified policies or share the analysis with others. Let's begin a demonstration of the what-if analysis using Excel. Let's start by looking at the insurance fraud score example project. There are three rules documents within this project, including the fraud score color document. By opening that document, we can see that after computing the total fraud score, the policies within this policy model will also set a status indicator to either green, amber, or red. If we look at the analysis folder, and specifically the fraud score what if analysis Excel document, we can see that a number of cases have been defined within Excel. The total fraud score is one of the outcomes or decisions that can be made by this policy model. Before we begin analyzing these cases using the policy model, we will clear all the total fraud scores from this spreadsheet. Analyze the cases using the rule base. You can see the analysis is complete. The total fraud score for each of the cases has been computed and inserted into the Excel spreadsheet automatically. The columns within the spreadsheet are added by using the Add Column button on the Oracle Policy Modeling tab. In this case, let's add the fraud score status indicator as another outcome for each of these cases whenever we perform an analysis. Note how the Oracle Policy Modeling styles dictate the input columns shown in green from the output columns shown in color headings. We run the analysis again. We see that the fraud scores were cleared, and now that the fraud score status indicator is a second output. If we wanted to compare across policy changes, we can simply add another column and copy and paste the outcomes from the prior run of the test case. By setting this column to a non-OPM style, it will be ignored during the analysis phase, but will remain in the spreadsheet with whatever values have been pasted in there from a prior test run. And to demonstrate this change, we'll go back to 
the rule document and modify the thresholds for the different colors. So instead of this, the cutoff between amber and red being at a fraud score of 250, let's change that to 300 so that amber will be the fraud status indicator for scores between 200 and 300 and red will be the fraud score status indicator for total fraud scores that exceed 300. Recompile the document and return to our analysis spreadsheet to rerun the analysis. The conclusions or decisions are cleared, recomputed based on the policies and the data for each case and we can see how for example the total fraud score of 290 in policy 1 was determined to be a red status indicator. It is now showing up as amber based on the higher threshold. By preserving outputs from prior runs of test cases, you can use the rich set of features within Excel to build bar charts, comparisons, pie charts, etc. This allows you to compare policy changes, the impact that that will have on existing test cases, or help you analyze your policies to determine what changes might be made to hit desired outcomes. To recap some of the benefits of what-if analysis, you can get new legislation right the first time, model the impact of policy changes, understand policy scenarios and implications across changes, use real or generated data, and business users can analyze, compare, and share results. There are a number of OPM help articles to learn more about what-if analysis using Excel within Oracle Policy Modeling. Thank you for viewing this segment of the Oracle Policy Automation Series. To learn more and stay connected with the OPA community, discuss OPA on the Oracle Policy Automation forums, watch more videos on the Oracle Policy Automation YouTube channel, learn more from oracle.com or find courses on education.oracle.com, and research OPA on the Oracle Technology Network.